Would you like to know how to make this pretty envelope? I think you do. Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful envelope out of a decorative piece of paper. Now this piece of paper is part of our Alice in Wonderland inspired paper packs. How to start? First, you turn your page upside down. You can print the back too if you like, for the inside. And the first thing we're going to do is measure the center. Now, there's only one thing that needs to be measured, so rest assured, it's not very much. There. Just a little mark. And then you're going to take the bottom flap, uh, the bottom right corner, and you're going to fold it straight up. If you're not sure, just place any piece of paper in the corner to make a right fold. But eyeballing it is usually just great. So now repeat the same with the other corner, but downwards. Make a nice fold. And then turn it like this. And now we're going to fold, not here, but a little over here, upwards. So I'm going to make my fold about a quarter of an inch upwards. There. And turn it around and do the same on the other side. So about at a quarter of an inch upwards. Voila. And actually your, your envelope is quite ready now. You can tape it shut or glue it shut, but I want to make it far more pretty than that, of course. First, I'm going to fold it back open and I kind of want to get rid of the white edges so you won't see them here but this here's fantasy 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 and then you see the edge and it's white you don't want that so I'm going to just lightly ink the edges very lightly this is a quite a light color I think it's called antique linen yeah antique linen Okay, now I'm going to fold my envelope back, right bottom up, left top down, and these flaps shut. I want to close the envelope like this, but not simply in a usual way. I, I'm really, really a fan of those um, rope closings, so that's what we're going to make. So, to make the envelope tie thingies, I have no idea what they're called. I need a piece of uh, scrap cardboard. This is from an old oatmeal box. I save everything. And a piece of scrap brown paper. And a hole punch. Now, I know it's not very wise to use a hole punch on thicker paper, but I'm still gonna do it. Shh. You punch out. Yeah, there they go. Two. <laughs> this could be a game. <laughs> Two uh, circles from this cardboard. Very sorry, sweet punch. I'm going to leave you alone now. Oh no, need you still. And I'm also going to cut to pieces of brown paper. There. And I'm going to simply glue these on the colored side of the cardboard. A bit of glue. It's really not hard. Yeah. No, 
now I'm going to punch a hole in the middle, center. Yeah, I'm punching with an awl. This is really very inexpensive. And you can use it for book binding, for other stuff. It's a very handy tool. It's like, yeah, like a basic tool, you know. So I got two holes in the centers. And now I need to also see where I want these to come. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to ink these up as well. As well. Now, I want to see where I want these. Now, you can choose. You can get the closure like here or here. If you want it very funky, that would be nice too. Or here, but I'm just going to close it in the middle about here. And make a little mark. I'm not really picking through, but just make a little mark and now I can see where I have to punch a bit larger. And the other one, I want the same distance from here to here, about here. Yeah. And punch through. I don't use a pricking mat because, um, yeah, I'm lazy. Now, all we have to do is line the holes of these reinforcements to the holes I just made in the envelope and I'm going to use some gold little brads punch them through the hole I just made and the second hole too and now I can just split these legs open and that one's in place. Beautiful. Do the same on the other side. True. True. And bend those legs over. Now, the only thing that I need to do now is find a really pretty matching piece of string. And I found in my stash a bit gold, bluey, greeny uh, piece of string, so it matches beautifully with the, uh, the paper. And now I just have to close my envelope. It's a bit too long for my testing, so I'm going to cut these off the ends. There. Pretty! And to finish it off, I'm going to ink these edges too. Now the envelope is full, it makes it all the more pretty. our envelope. A piece of art made from a regular piece of paper, some scrap paper, some rope and two brads. There you go. I'd say have fun with it. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.